your boy Isaac Bearman from Mirror Science Club, and today we are going to be doing calculus integral number two. So we're going to be taking the integral of x minus one over two x whole squared dx. All right. So now usually we would do a u sub, but first of all, there's nothing to cancel out here, and second of all, there's only a power of two, so it's relatively benign to distribute. So, we know that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, now that becomes x squared minus 2 times x times 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2x squared. So, that's x squared minus these cancel out and these cancel out. So, 1 plus 1 over the whole squared of 2x. So 4x squared. So we are now, oh yeah, and we can actually make it better by making this x squared minus 1 plus 1 over 4, and we bring this up, x to the minus 2. So we get the integral of x squared minus 1 plus 1 over 4x to the minus 2 dx. So now when taking the integral, we now know our simple rules. Uh, first of all, the inverse power rule for x squared. Add a 1, divide by 2 plus 1, so we get x cubed over 3, minus, whenever you have a constant and you're integrating it, you tack an x on the end, plus, we use the same power rule over here, so, this gives us what minus 1 fourth x to the minus 1, or if you want to not have negative exponents, this is minus 1 over 4x. It's x cubed over 3, oh yeah, and plus x cubed over 3 minus x minus 1 over 4x plus c. And now, now, taking the derivative is also a pretty simple process. Taking the derivative of this, the x cubed on top becomes 3x squared by the power rule. So we have 3x squared over 3. Minus x becomes 1 because when you are differentiating a single variable, that variable becomes 1. You just get the coefficient. So, minus 1 minus, well, let's see. What is x to the minus 1? Well, that becomes, by the power rule again, this comes down, minus 1x to the minus 2 minus 1 over x squared. So, combine that with the minus 1 over 4 that we had over here, and we get negative 1 over 4x squared. So we get, we reduce here, x squared minus 1 plus 1 over 4x squared. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So taking the square root of x squared, we know that a is x. And then we know that uh, b squared, taking the square root of 1 over 4x squared, is 1 over 2x. And just to test it, minus 2ab is equal to minus x times 1 over 2x times 2. And this cancels out, this cancels out, this cancels out minus 1. So, we have confirmed that this is simply just x minus 1 over 2x squared. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.